if you're watching this, you're probably dealing with caustic chondritis right now. And maybe you've already seen my personal story about caustic chondritis in my video where I break down what caustic chondritis is and everything about it to help you understand it and how I came to understanding this mysterious unknown chest pain condition that absolutely sucked. So if you haven't already seen my personal story and how I dealt with caustic chondritis and pretty much got rid of it, make sure to check the video right up here. There'll be a link. And that's pretty much it for that. For the rest of this video, I'm going to talk about how my life is post costo chondritis. I've been costo, I've been free from dealing with costo for maybe like, let's see, at least like seven years maybe. It's been a good while since I had it. And if it ever does flare up, which it pretty much doesn't anymore, unless I specifically do one exercise that I pretty much have just exiled that I will never do again because it always throws it up no matter what which is dips just I would not recommend doing dips if they give you any pain related to caustic chondritis that's the only thing I can do that can just like instantly fire it back up otherwise completely pain free and if I did have pain I would just use the back pod just like I used to and since having Costco I have gotten back into working out just like I was before. I was big into weightlifting and stuff before. I now am a fitness coach and I lift weights daily and I coach people through fitness workouts daily. Now, I can do anything chest related it, other than dips. I can do heavy chest press with dumbbells or a barbell. I can do lots and lots of push ups. Right now, my push up back is probably like around 30 reps for a set and I can also do one arm push-ups which takes a lot and puts a lot of stress on the chest as well every other muscle group i can work explosively i can work heavy i can work for endurance it doesn't bother me at all so i just wanted to like kind of share that with you to just let you know there is hope out there that if you deal with it and you break down and fix the mechanical issue that costo is where it's an issue in the back even though you feel the pain in here, it's an issue in the back where your ribs are basically jammed together and then they get kind of locked and frozen in place. And the best way to unfreeze that is using something like back pod. Of course, you don't have to use the back pod, but it was specifically designed by a physio physiotherapist in New Zealand to fix this problem specifically. So that's why I went with the back pod because it's literally made to fix this issue as opposed to something like a foam roller or a tennis ball isn't necessarily made to help costa chondritis but you could definitely use it and it has fixed it and helped for some people so if you are interested in getting a back pod and just trying it out i mean why not you could probably all just send it back if it doesn't work for you you can check out my link in the description i'll have one for you but yeah if you guys have any questions about the back pod or costa chondritis or like how i've gotten back into fitness um and what does doesn't bother me pretty much like i said only dips bother me i also can run a lot i running doesn't bother me at all i've gotten to my fastest one mile ever which is 451 four minutes 51 seconds for a one mile so that takes a lot and i mean when you're running you're constantly shifting back and forth and you're going to be using the muscles up there that would usually be affected by costume chondritis. So yeah, if you haven't already and you're still here, make sure to check out those other videos if you haven't watched them. And like and subscribe and let me know if you want to see more videos on costume chondritis. Thanks for watching.